hello and welcome back to cracksoid i have installed android 12 based custom rom on my phone and now i'm facing one major issue on my custom recovery i have this twrp recovery installed on my phone as you can also see here data is encrypted the internal storage shows some random numbers and letters and i cannot access to my internal storage I cannot decrypt internal storage so that I cannot install any ROMs or flash anything from custom recovery. By doing some research, I have found two methods to fix this encryption problem on custom recovery so that you will be able to flash custom ROMs, kernels and install Magisk or Zizix to root your phone. So without further ado, let's start. So this is Redmi Note 8 and I have installed Android 12 based Octavi OS in this phone. The first step is to remove pin or pattern from your device. Make sure there is no any screen lock applied on your phone. Then enable and enter into developer option. From developer option enable USB debugging and if there is OEM unlocking option on your phone then enable that one too. That's it now reboot your phone to recovery mode. Different phone has different method to boot into recovery section. So this is TWRP recovery and as you can see internal storage is encrypted. First go to mount option and this mount option also play vital role on showing internal storage make sure data options are enabled also if there is internal storage option enable that one but still my internal storage is encrypted and i cannot access to my files so the first method is to access your files from secondary storage which may be your micro sd card or from otz if you want to install any rom and you cannot decrypt your internal storage then this method will help you a lot Simply transfer your ROM file or any other file on your micro SD card and flash it from micro SD card. This first method is for those who have micro SD card slot present in their phone. But nowadays there are lots of phones available without having micro SD card slot. So for them my suggestion will be to try with an OTZ cable. But if you could not manage OTZ or any micro SD card then don't worry I have another method for you and that will surely help on your problem. So for this second method you must have installed TWRP custom recovery on your phone. Then go to advanced option. Then open ADV side load. Select both options to wipe Dalbic and CAS. Then swipe to start side load. Then it will start ADV side load feature. Then quickly attach USB cable on your phone and computer. Then put your phone there and go to computer. Here in computer you have to download this ADV installer and the ROM zip file that you want to install on your device. First, right click on ADV installer and run it as administrator. Press Y and hit enter on every command to install ADV and fastboot drivers. Click on next and click on finish. Then go to C drive. There you'll find ADV folder, open it. Then copy that ROM file inside ADV folder. Now click on address bar and type CMD and hit enter. Command promote will appear. On CMD type ADV space devices. Then it will show list of connected device. Now type another command which is ADV space side load space and then drag that rom zip file from adb folder to cmd then hit enter button then you will start seeing the installation process on both computer and on your phone on cmd percentage is showing when the percentage hits 100 percent then rom installation process will be considered as complete this installation process may take some time about 5 to 10 minutes 
so I will fast forward this process so about after five minutes the installation process is complete and our work in computer is done now move to our phone first remove that attached USB cable now go back go to wipe section tap on format data type yes and tap on tick mark this will format your phone so make sure to keep backup before proceeding to these steps now you can click on that reboot system then new ROM will be installed on your device also I have made a detailed review of this latest ancient OS ROM which is based on Android 12 I'll drop the link in the description section so that you can watch that video easily so these are the two methods that I found working if you are facing encryption problem on your custom recovery. Nowadays many Android 12 custom rooms are facing this issue so I guess I helped you related to this problem and if you like this video you can like comment and share this video. Also you can support us by subscribing and don't forget to hit the notification bell also. Thank you very much for watching this video till the end I'll see you in my next video. Bye.